Welcome to our video on common pitfalls and how to avoid them when you're optimizing your Zendesk instance. There is a lot to know about Zendesk, which is super exciting, but it can also lead to a few things falling through the cracks, which is A-OK. -okay. These things happen and we want to make it as easy as possible for you when they do. Today, we'll be covering four big common mistakes we see when working with our customers. These include faulty user management, unused or outdated ticket fields, unmonitored business rules, and a lack of integration maintenance. Let's get started. One common mistake to avoid that comes with a pretty quick fix is faulty user management. Failing to regularly review user access and permissions can lead to an inefficient use of licenses and also road bumps for your team when they're trying to do their jobs. It's tempting to make every agent an admin. That means less work on your plate, right? Not really. This can lead to too many cooks in the kitchen where admins tend to start making account changes based on personal or team preference rather than through a collaborative decision-making process. To avoid this, we suggest maintaining a ratio of no more than one admin for every 10 agents, though the right ratio truly depends on your use case. Of course, managing permissions and Zendesk support doesn't have to be as simple as agent and admin. If you're on the enterprise plan of Zendesk, you can create custom roles that ensure each employee has the appropriate level of access through your account. You can get as granular as you'd like by determining everything from the type of information an employee can access to the settings they can configure. The next mistake to avoid is having unused or outdated ticket fields. Over time, ticket fields may become unnecessary or no longer serve you and the business. It's important for admins to review and clean up these fields to include fields that are only relevant to your business and workflows now in order to have more consistency across your support higher efficiency in ticket creation and updating, and better reporting for custom data. Not sure where to start with this? Try running a report in Explore on all of your custom ticket fields and see how many times they were applied to a ticket within the past few months. This will help you determine which fields are still relevant to your workflows and tickets and help you weed out which ones aren't. Next is unmonitored automation and triggers. Automation and triggers can significantly enhance efficiency, but they can also cause issues if not properly monitored. Your admins should be reviewing existing automation and triggers to ensure that they are functioning as intended and not causing unintended consequences. A clean set of triggers and automations is essential to the success of any account that works with tickets at scale. You'll want to be aware of things like overlapping conditions across multiple business rules that could unintentionally send tickets astray. To keep your workflows in order, we recommend using categories with your triggers. This allows you to visually group triggers together and make things easier for trigger management. We recommend categories like set, assign, and notify to get you started. To take this even further, Consider beginning each business rule name with a simple descriptor defining what that trigger or automation accomplishes. Some potential options include notify, assign, set, and escalate. Not sure which rules are ready for an audit? Try sorting based on usage to identify workflows that are rarely used. These could be outdated and ready for deactivation. Finally, it's important to ensure you have your tech stack nicely integrated with your Zendesk. It is so important to have your tech stack integrated with Zendesk, and it's very easy to do so with our Zendesk Marketplace, which houses hundreds of different integrations. If Zendesk is integrated with other systems, such as a CRM or e-commerce platforms, your admins should ensure that these integrations are properly maintained and functioning correctly to prevent data discrepancies or interruptions in workflow. And if you see an integration for a tool you no longer use, let's remove it from your account so it's not even a thought in your head anymore. We've talked a lot about these common mistakes to avoid in your Zendesk and how to fix them when you're optimizing your own account. I'm sure you're already doing a great job, but it's always a good idea to remind ourselves of ways we can improve our practices and thereafter our team's success. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you next time.